Welcome to Electrek Daily, a look at today's most pressing electric car news. Today we're going to discuss the turmoil of Nikola Motors. Nikola Motors responds to the allegations made against him from Hindenburg Research, a company that holds a short position against Nikola Motors stock, just to be clear. If you've never heard of Nikola Motors, they started their electric car company based on the name of Nikola Tesla, who himself was a general godfather of awesome alternating current and a myriad of electric wonders, such as the city of Colorado Springs, which scientists are still trying to explain this day. But don't accuse Nikola Motors of copying Tesla Motors because that's what Nikola Motors does best. A couple of years ago, Nikola Motors filed a $2 billion lawsuit against Tesla Motors because they say that Tesla Motors copied Nikola Motors' design for an electric semi-truck. Oh, gosh. Now, this suit is actually still underway, but I think it's safe to say that Nikola Motors has an uphill case in this battle. Nikola has other trucks in the works as well. Nikola said they didn't want to make an electric pickup truck, but then Tesla made an electric pickup truck, so Nikola responded by showcasing their new Badger electric pickup truck. I guess this wasn't copying, though. I don't know. Anyways, they said it was going to have a 600-mile range with a fuel cell tech that Nikola has made a breakthrough on, and also that it was going to be better than sliced bread. Okay, they didn't say that part, but uh, they're kind of acting like it. Anyways, I'm told that Nikola took deposits for this truck, even though at that time it only existed as a computer render. So, I don't know, big risk there. Supposedly, these breakthroughs in tech that they made didn't really amount to much, since Nikola Motors recently bamboozled General Motors into a deal, in which GM got a stake in Nikola as a company, and that GM would provide literally the entire battery and drivetrain for their upcoming pickup truck. I mean, they get a list? What does GM get out of Nikola? Other than the money. David, help me here. The most damaging allegation recently flung at Nikola Motors concerns their electric semi truck. Earlier this year, Bloomberg reported that Nikola founder Trevor Milton lied when he claimed that the Nikola One Semi that they unveiled on stage was a functional truck. In fact, it was a pusher prototype that was completely not operational, despite Milton specifically claiming on stage that it wasn't a pusher. You're going to see that this is a real truck. This is not a pusher. After this, Hindenburg Research reported an allegation that the first video of Nikola's truck actually driving was the result of towing the truck up a hill and then pushing it back down. This was backed by a text message from an employee of the company at the time, and the Hindenburg finding the actual location of the filming... <laughs> Nikola responded by, first and foremost, they shut off the comment section for videos, so good move there. Anyways, to the point, they said, quote, Nikola described this third-party video on the company's social media as in motion. It was never described as under its own propulsion or powertrain-driven. Nice save. Hey, who are the weirdos out there who think that a moving truck on video showcases the driving capability? Idiots. All right, before we get too crazy, the video is actually like three years old. And according to Nikola, investors from that time period when they weren't public, they knew the limitations of the existing prototype. I'll have to trust them on that one. But the plot thickens when Nikola made claims about their in-house design and engineering team who made a really awesome power inverter. Oh, oh, wait, it turns out that they covered someone else's label with tape. Hey, but hey, don't worry. Nikola says about this one, quote, At no time did Nikola state that the inverter on the prototype truck shown in the video was the company's or would be used in production. You know, let the experts cast aluminum. We just don't need to cast aluminum. It makes no sense. But we do do all the e-axle design in-house, all the gears, the gear reductions, the thermal, the cooling, even the controls that go with it, and also the inverters as well. Uh, by the way, a confirmed engineer from Nikola told us at Electric, quote, I was alarmed to hear lies flowing like water from Trevor as he toured the floor with investors and politicians. At first, it's just a kernel, a thought, a what if, a maybe, the kind of thing you can't get out of your mind. You sketch it, you brainstorm it, you tell people about it. But what's next? We still don't know. The world of tech, and especially the burgeoning electric car market, is fraught with danger at every turn. Your company could be completely thrown under for the slightest thing. It's not easy to save face and continue funding these wildly expensive operations when the main product that you sell is a promise. Tesla was once hanging on by a thread, selling promise after promise. They still do, in some cases. In my opinion, I don't fault Nikola Motors for trying to build some hype and get precious investor money coming in. But if you don't have a product like a super great inverter or a battery or a semi-truck, don't go on pretending that you do. The way I see it, a bold-faced lie is bad, but leading people to believe something that isn't true while technically still telling the truth, that's also bad. 
When your primary product is a promise, you can't afford to sell a defective promise, meaning you can't afford to sell a deceptive promise. I hope that the staff at Nikola Motors can turn this around and make a viable and honorable competitor in the EV space. Heaven knows that there's a lot of people out there who don't like Tesla for plenty of reasons, and there's lots of space for a solid company with a decent product to earn and keep customers. When Nikola starts producing on their promises, we should treat them with respect. Trust, on the other hand, that comes a little bit later. Thanks for watching Electrek Daily. Let me know what you think of the format, and I will see you guys on later.